Hi folks, my name is Jacopo and I'm one of the founders of Docking. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to use our add-on to connect data across your Google Workspace documents. Uh, so in this example, I have a spreadsheet with some financial data uh, for a company called Fake Travel, uh, as well as a Google Slides presentation with uh, the financial results and a Google Docs report. So what I want to do is to connect my spreadsheet data to uh, my presentation and my Google Docs. Uh, to, you, to do that, I'm going to use the docking add-on. I've uh, launched it by clicking on the extension tab. I've selected the docking add-on and I've started it. And so now I'm going to be able to export my data across my Google Workspace. So I'm on my export tab. I'm clicking on my export new data. And the first thing to do is to select the destination. So in this case, I want to uh, send it to my uh, presentation. And uh, I'm going to create a new range. Let's suppose that I'm only interested in uh, uh, exporting data coming from this tab, my quarterly summary. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to click on Create New Range. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Summary. I'm going to update to my selection. And I can uh, use my first row and my first column as headers so that it's going to be uh, way easier to filter this data directly from my Google Slides. So I'm going to export that data. And now that I have exported that, I'm able to find uh, that data directly in my Google Slides. And so, for example, in this slide where I'm presenting some key figures, I could use docking to pull that data uh, directly within my text. So I'm clicking here on insert and I can filter through my column and my rows. So, for example, here I'm looking for my Q2 info. I've selected that and I'm interested in the nights booked. So I select that, insert it. And I'm going to do the same, for example, for my gross booking value or uh, GBD as it's called. So I select that and insert it. And now basically my, uh, my text here is directly connected with my data in Google Sheets. And whenever that changes, so if that, for example, was to become four and this was to become 90, uh, I just need to update my file content and wherever uh, this uh, data has been entered within my presentation, it will be updated with the latest value in Google Sheets. So uh, something else I could also do is to uh, not only export data, but also import data from uh, other sources. So in uh, this instance, I could import new data coming from other spreadsheets. For example, here I have a KPI tracker uh, containing my new leads and my contracts coming from my sales team or my marketing team. And I want to make sure that I'm always up to date with uh, their latest information. Uh, so to do that, I could go on my import tab, click on my import new data button, select the source, so here I want to get my KPI tracker data. And uh, here again, I can select whether I want to import a range or uh, a whole, uh, an entire sheet. So in this case, I have two tabs, KPIs and customer database. I'm interested in KPIs and I'm importing the entire sheet. So I'm selecting that, importing it. And uh, uh, now uh, if the data changes, so as you can see behind my big head, uh, Docking has created a new tab that is locked for me. And uh, if data was to change, let's suppose this was not 435 anymore, or let's suppose that it completely disappeared. Um, whenever I click on the refresh import, I'm going to have the latest um, version of that file. So uh, let me know what you think. Curious to hear your feedback. Try it out and don't hesitate to shout out for any questions. Thanks.